So let's move on. We can hit this down and in. Now, when you strike this area down and in that we struck up and in for, uh, before, what's gonna happen is you're gonna definitely catch the muscle spindle cells. You're also gonna, um, if you hit hard enough, you're gonna cause a pressure on the blood vessels to um, push down the blood that was trying to come up to the brain, and that will cause a vasovagal syn syncope, which is a fainting episode. Now, in Ohan Sokin's notes, which we've been covering a lot, and all these targets are Ohan Sokin, in Ohan Sokin's notes, um, it, it's to cause a fainting and or death, okay? And the death is when you really slam into it, it ramifies on the heart as well as the head. But for fainting purposes, you, hit, you can hit lighter and you can cause the same effect. Now, in Ohan Sokin's notes, as in many other of these notes, these targets are not called pressure points. Yes, in modern times, modern authors put the pressure points in because that, that seems to be the accepted dogma, even though in the notes, what you see is the ramifications are uh, neurological shock and uh, overstimulus to the cerebrum. Um, you've got problems with the heart. You've got problems with this organ or that organ. It's not mentioned anything about pressure points. It's not mentioned anything about um, reversing the chi or this is a yin energy and that's a yang energy. No, it just says it hurts the body because it, it shocks the brain, it shocks the liver, it causes um, internal bleeding, things of this nature. So that's why we need to get away from the BS of the pressure points uh, being Q show and get back to the real Q show of the founding fathers of their, um, their martial arts. Okay, so that's a, another target we can hit. Now, turning this guy sideways just a little, we have the side of the sternal collatoid mastoid muscle, we can attack the same way. You still have the transverse cervical nerve, you still have the sternal collateroid mastoid muscle, you can cause the muscle spindle cell to stretch on and cause the um, effect. Now on this targeting, I'm going to be striking with this aspect of the thumb. So what I want to do is I want it to a transfer downward, okay? It's not going to be my arm striking like I was striking with a ridge hand. Now that's possible, but I also want to show you that if I'm coming through this action and my arm is extended, there's a good chance of pulling a muscle. There's also a weakness because my hand is coming out this way, my elbow can lock, and I can hyperextend. Okay, so what I want to do is save myself and just keep the energy in for a short transfer with the thumb. That way my arm is more protected and it's also more relaxed. So I'm not trying to go with force this way, which tightens the muscles here, which fights the energy that's going into the, the opponent. I want to just make a quick little twist so my arm is relaxed, and at the last second there's a drop. And this is what's going to make the kinetic energy go into the body just a little easier. So when I'm striking stomach now, I'm going to strike on uh, large intestine 18 for the safety. But when I strike, my thumb is going to actually come in and down to cause the effect. Okay. Can you sit up? <laughs> okay. Now, a lot of times you see in the prior films and in the seminars. Okay. One second, please. Back. Okay. <laughs> You're going to see the person attempts to get up. Now, I'm not trying to knock these people co completely unconscious. There's no use for it. I mean, we've done, this is the 16th film. You've seen the Q show. Most of the people that have already seen the, the DVDs have also gone to a seminar and they've experienced the Q show. They know it's real. But what I wanted to show is even though he was able to slap out from his prior training, okay, he was not able to fight. You saw his legs jump up off the floor. He didn't fall down. He jumped up and then came down. You also notice that when we sit people up, it looks like they're trying to get up or they're, they're still awake, and they are. They're only at a level two uh, state of unconsciousness. But as I asked him this time, I think this is the first time I've done this on the DVDs, as I asked him to get up and he said he couldn't because the body is dysfunctioned. The nervous system is shocked so that there's no energy really uh, strengthening the muscles of the legs, the torso, or the arms so he can press himself up. And that's why we sit the person up ourselves to revive them.